Any other questions? I want to say yes. the, the Rabbu, the Rabbu, who make a new decree, decree, they make new halacha. Okay? Yes. You say this same value is, is like to, is a Torah, it's still part of Torah. It's Torah. The what? You say it's Torah. And yes. Okay, because in Torah they say you follow the. The rabbi of the nation. Yes. But in one side they do a lot of new halacha, which is according to a high level of people who already respect all huh? most of the mitzvot, and it's most this halacha it's it's good to protect maybe the, and to help the Haredi and, uh, and Orthodox movement and people. But what about the ordinary people? They have more than the more there is new modern halakha, the more they make new sins. Because they cannot uh, almost achieve the ten, they cannot uh, achieve the ten commandments in the 613, and now there is more, more, more. So what's, what's happening in the sky and when we go to judge? We, get, we, we will be shown this I didn't respect to have an iPhone? The what? If they will show me, ah, you didn't respect the halakha of Ravanan, I don't have my phone, why are you respect the Salva? Which, which, which value, how we manage with this because? Don't quite understand, so what's your question? The question is, what is the value? You're adding more, you're, you're making more halakha, so make more things <laughs> for him, so more people feel less. I think that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So at the end, when they don't respect all this modern halakha, the last halakha for uh, years and years, they're not respecting halakha before. What's the point of youth coming and telling you this is something new? He's not respecting what's in the Torah. So only wasting your time doing something new. So the question is, how is it? Going to be judged. How is it going to be judged? How is it going to be judged? How will it be judged? For the no respect of his words, of the new Allah. Very good question. Can you can Yes. I wish I would tell me the question. The more the rabbis make new degrees and new halakha, like sit up the front of the bus, sit in the, the back of the bus, That's the more halakha they make, it gives you more chance, more sins you can make. Because the more they make halakha, <laughs> the more sins you can make. <laughs> He's giving an example of the cell phone as well. Yeah, any kind of little halakha uh, like this, but when we die, what happened in the judgment? Yeah. No, we like this. <laughs> You know, there's things like sitting at the back of the bus, sitting in the front of the bus, all that kind of stuff. So, this is the right way. People believe it, they make it. Look, there are, there are halakhot which, which are um, halakhot based upon the Gomorrah, upon the Shulchan Aruch. And then there are situations that arise that. But let's let's deal with the questions you're dealing with modern technology. When when the first movies appeared, yeah. So in the Torah circles, they said anyone who goes to a movie, and most of the movies contain a bit of pornography. So pornography is prohibited from the Torah. But the same, same, the same as you shouldn't go astray yeah. out your eyes and things and look at uh, people without clothes on, let's say, pornography. It arouses uh, the stimulus, which is which a person should use in marriage, but otherwise keep away from it. So here there's, there's a principle in the Torah of trying to develop pure thought, but there's no prohibition in, in, in seeing a movie where there's no pornography. It's not different to, uh, you can have a, uh, to d today, every, everyone, everyone uses videos, yeah? So, it's a video, it's a movie. The videos can be, there are plenty of Torah videos, which exclude all forms of, 
which is like if people even teach Torah through videos. And you can teach Torah through movies as well. But people, but, but people in certain circles said, well, but if you're going to open the door to movies to youngsters, they'll go from movies without pornography to movies with pornography. <laughs> then obviously came the television. So many said, well, a person mustn't have television in any circumstances. And, to, and uh, today, of course, the television is used, in fact. Hidabrut, one of the biggest uh, hero movements, their main power is through television. They have regular television programs of Hidabrut, of wow. introducing people to Torah. And with the means can be used. But, uh, but, 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 it's, in fact, the, the in, with, it's, it, you can't call it an Aveda in itself, because it's a, the method of television is all right. It's how we use it. How we use it. And the same applies to the iPhones. Other words, if, if the iPhone is used for kosher things, it's kosher. I'll be then. But since when people use it widely, it easily drifts over to pornography, pornography is forbidden. Same applies to use of the internet. So, yeah, but doesn't you know, this, today the world works through internet, all business, everything works through internet. You could try and keep it kosher. Why do you have to make new Allah every time of this? Why they don't, we don't just know so the principle and the morality and the, the principle of is showing it in front of Hashem, in front of Hashem, you'll be judged if you, let's say, if you didn't stop yourself from becoming addicted to pornography, that you'll be judged for. Yeah. So you've got to work it out, you know. And this is in the, in the, uh, system of education for the public once you once the public uses internet or different types of phones without any limitations without having any cushions over it so it easily slips over to areas where it's not kosher the same applies to some extent to to the, the prohibition of usury you know which which they made this is a similar situation so there's certain that well, there's much easier, but still it's got to be controlled in such a way that it shouldn't lead to to exploitation of of, of ribbons. I understand this. I understand the circle of Torah. They can say good advice, yes. but why they have to make new halacha? Because when you don't respect the halacha according from Rabbanan, it's you you get judged for this. It's written like this. You should not feel bad. It's, it's not a new halach, it's not much a new halach. It's like the sages said, the simchat beit ha-shayra, the big simchat. Uh, every year, the biggest national simchat, signed the beit ha-mikdash. So it led, it led too much mixing between the men and the women, and rejoicing and so on. So they made their a takono. Tikkun God, also shown. To have a special different terrace for the for the for the women's department. It was near the Beit Hamikdash, so to make sure that people shouldn't shouldn't uh, shouldn't be too much mixing at times of rejoicing. But this is you know these are takanot made in order to not to allow the people to be dragged into. Uh, I understand this, but why is have to make halakha, to publish halakha, to write halakha in the street everywhere? Why? Why is they have to write like this? And people, they say it's halakha. They can do advice, they can do ethics, they can do morals, they can do speech. But why is they have to make an halakha? Is that after we don't respect it, we have more children? Well, and more confusion is bringing. It backfires too. Huh? They backfired. You know, like that there's yes. a bigger sequel after the internet. Yes. Oh, after this, what the yes. People that don't have internet, you're holding. I see what winds up happening. I'll tell you. I see this in the internet campaign when I check my email. You have Karate people looking at pornography in public. It's even worse. It's worse. I mean, you know, like, yeah. the internet campaign. You're like, well, oh, well. Yeah, that's worse. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You come to the Torah and you should take